Hi, welcome to today's tutorial. Um, in this video, I'll show you how to use OpenCAD filters to enhance your site's uh, functionality. Um, in real world, when you want to shop for a product, you want to be able to narrow down to specific product of your choice. So, for, for example, I'm here on Amazon and uh, I've searched for a laptop. So just to do another search again and then um, so you can see I have over 20,000 um, results for laptop I just need to buy one laptop so how can I um, narrow down to a specific uh, pool of products that may be of interest to me so this is where the filters come in place on Amazon you can see uh, we have different filters like featured brands. So maybe I just want products uh, that belong to Lenovo. Uh, you can see that has narrowed down uh, products from 20,000 to 3,000. And then I want products that are under $500. You can see uh, that has narrowed the search down to 838 um let's do another one like um like which one maybe let's say we need a, a good uh it uses solid state drive oh okay so we've narrowed down again to 588 so that's how powerful filters are well how do we implement this in OpenCAT? To do that, go to your OpenCAT admin panel and then under catalog, you will find these filters. So you need to add filters. So for this case, we will just use almost same so that uh, you get the idea. So I'll create a filter group and then say, for example, um, the first one was manufacturer, I guess brand the brand sorry so brand so for brands we have different computer brands so we have um, apple we have lenovo and many many others okay just over that then um, once I have this, I'll go to the next step, which is assigning these filter values to specific categories uh, that have that will have uh, products of this nature. So I'll just go to categories, and then uh, desktops here. Then under desktops, uh, switch to data tab then search so for this case um the three of them are showing up so there is a essa there is a apple then lenovo uh, and then i'll just click save once i have that i can still go and create more more filter filter groups so for this filter group i'll just do something like price Mm, let's do something different color uh, so color let's say we have black uh, white uh, silver then save so I also want to add the same to my category so under data sorry should be filters here I can add black, white, and uh, the other one was, was silver. Good. So uh, just one pro tip, don't search filter group. So if you search brand, in some cases you might not see it, but for some cases uh, I can see it showing up. Good. So once you have this, just click save. And now we have assigned two filters to all products which belong to the um, 
desktop category. So the third step is to assign these filters to specific products. So how do you do that? Um, let's edit one of the products like Apple Cinnamon and then uh, once you're on the edit page, you just need to switch to links tab. Uh, below here you will find filters and you can see it's empty. So this Apple is a, is a brand of Apple products and then in terms of color, okay, have silver maybe. Uh, so that's enough. Um, let me click save. We can add another product. Um, let's say HP. HP is different. Mm, okay, iMac. So iMac Linux desktop. You can see it belongs to the parent category is desktop. Uh, so for filters, it's Apple. And then uh, color is let's say black, something different. Okay, um, again, save that. So once we do this, now we can proceed to the fourth step. The fourth step is to go to extensions, and then modules, then find the filter module. So by default, this module is disabled. So just click install to have it installed and then navigate to edit, then status, enable it so that it's active. And uh, the last step is to assign this module to a specific page layout. So in this case, it's a um, category page layout so category so you go to layout and then you select category page uh, ideally people add it on the left but if you want to add it on a different place so like uh, column right it's still up to you so i'll just add it here to make it look nice and uh, you can see filter so if you don't find this here it means you've not enabled this module so once we add that, we are ready to go. And then we save. So that is the last step. And now we are ready to test. So we can just go to the front side and then we show all products that belong to desktops. So below here, you can see, you can filter the product by brand. So if I selected ESA, and then uh, black, you can see we have no products, okay? If we selected something like apple and black, um, we should be able to see this, right? If we want to select something like apple and silver, we should see Two products so guys that's how this works I think there's a challenge here or what but generally that's how it works uh, with this kind of functionality you are now able to filter different uh, to narrow down your searches to a specific product so guys that's pretty much about it uh, let me know any ideas in the com in the comment section and also remember to support me by liking and subscribing to my channel. Bye-bye.